Hello folks, Rondel here. I have been asked to do a tutorial on how to download and install ZombieCraft, so that is what we're going to be working on today. Just going to open up Firefox here. Do, do, do. Um, maybe. <laughs> it doesn't want to open. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. So first thing we want to go is we want to go to the website www.modzilla.minecraft. Dot com. That is the people who make ZombieCraft. That is their website. And that is where you need to go to download everything. I will inc well, actually I guess you don't need the W. Okay. Uh, I will give you the link to this um in case you're on a small screen and you can't see that or something. I don't know. But yeah, so I will give that in the description. Now for in order to download anything from this forum, you do need to create an account and uh, sign into it before you can download so I can I'll trust that you can do that on your own uh, I don't need to show that part now we're just gonna click on download re latest released and brings me to this nice little forum post right here zombiecraft 2.2 with a new map the new map is brought from original world at war Nazi zombies if any of you are familiar with that so I have not yet played that map I might get that a little bit later it does cost money it's a dollar ninety nine right now uh, later it'll be a dollar ten. So, but yeah. So we just want to scroll down right where here where it says download the Zombie Craft Launcher. You have two choices. These two mirrors. I'm just gonna pick on the first one because it doesn't really matter. They're both the same thing. Uh, however, now we have to wait for 42 seconds before we can download because I do not want to pay money for a premium download. I don't think you do either. <laughs> it's not really important. So yes, I should note that these instructions are for um, Firefox, which is the browser that I'm using. It's a free browser if you want to use it. I quite like it myself. But if you want something different, that's your choice. It should be pretty close to the same though, I think. If you have any questions, just ask and I'll see if I can adapt it for whatever browser you are using if it's different. Alright, we got six seconds left. Do -do. Waiting, waiting. Okay, now that that's done, we just click on regular download right here. Save file, click. And just bring up, there's the download. Okay, now this downloaded, what I like to do is just right click right here and I'll click on open contain folder. And that shows me where I have this. So I'm just going to minimize Firefox right now. Move this, and I'm just going to stick this right on the desktop where it's easy to access. You can put it wherever you want. Desktop's a nice easy place, and we're just going to double click on that. Can get rid of that one too. Okay. And that should load it up once it decides it wants to load. There we go. It's just sitting in the background here. Okay, so the username and password, this is the same as for Minecraft. This is a modified Minecraft launcher, so just use your normal username and password. On that note, you do have to have Minecraft bought and paid for and play with it with the actual beta version in order to be able to play ZombieCraft. So we're just going to log into that real quick. And this will update. It's not actually updating Minecraft, it's actually updating ZombieCraft. It's a little confusing when it says that, uh, but don't worry about it. So if you're trying to play an older version of Minecraft, it's not actually updating Minecraft. But of course you can always back up your files if you want to anyways. It's good to have those. So. Now I'll just wait for them to download this and then we should be good to play some ZombieCraft. Mm -hmm. And this only uh, this update only happens the first time you play ZombieCraft, or I guess if they have an update, maybe. But after this, once you load it up, it'll just come straight to the screen after you log in, and then you'll be good to play. So you just click on this, go find a map you want to play, double click, and you're good to go. Ta-da! Good old Grizzard's Last Resort. Or Stan, I don't remember which one it is. So yeah, so that is the conclusion of the tutorial. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask me, and I will try to answer them as best I can. Um, until that time, have fun, take care, and goodbye.